Hi everybody, I'm DJ Six Myth. You're watching the Sit Down. We're gonna have a blast right now. We got the boys of the Bronx here with us. The Bronx USA brand new documentary. Danny Gold, nice to meet you. George, how are you, my friend? And Robert, how's everything going, guys? Good. Uh, pretty good now that we're with you. All right. Well, George, why don't we start off with you? What was it like going back home to the Bronx and putting well, this whole the, thing together? Well, the Bronx is uh, my first uh, love, and uh, I, since kindergarten, since I was four years old. And then I, and I went to PS80 in the Bronx, and Robert went to the same school. We went, both went to Dewey Clinton together. Yeah. And you, know, and you know, Gary and Penny Marshall, you know, they also went to PS80. Hmm. Uh, Marcielli is, was their original name, you know, because it was an Italian neighborhood, right. an Irish neighborhood, a Jewish neighborhood, and everybody lived in these apartment buildings, and he describes it so well as a, all, all, all the doors are open. You, you yeah. go out and play. Uh, and, and, and it's exhilarating. And as soon as you get out of school, you're out playing stickball, basketball, punch ball, uh, ev everything. And uh, it, it was just the, uh, the greatest part uh, of my life at the beginning. And also I got, it, I got attached to comedy that way because right. we went to the Tuxedo Theater on Jerome Avenue, <laughs> which became the David Marcus David Theater. Marcus. Yeah. It became the David Marcus after a war hero. But when I was like five, six, seven, it was the Tuxedo. We, we went to see Laurel and Hardy and Abbott and Costello and the Marx Brothers. and We saw everybody. The wow. laughter uh, among us, you know, it just got, was set up my road to comedy. You know, I mean, I just uh, I just wanted to be a brand. Laughter so much. And, and with my friends, uh, we did, did a lot of uh, reunions every five years. We have a right. birthday party. <laughs> and there's just nothing but laughter there. And that's... Uh, I followed, that, I, it turned out quite well for me. That's awesome. Yeah. Robert, how about for you? I mean, you're back home, we're doing a little street performing well, I've, out I've there. I've been up there many up. times. Um, I, when, when my book came out, I went up with a, it's called The Amorous Busboy of Decatur. Mm -hmm. I'm your little plug there, but. Um, <laughs> we walked everywhere. Yeah. It was a walking existence. It was almost like a little European village. Uh, there were groceries, there were no supermarkets. When the AMP finally opened, we, I remember my parents ducking past the grocer because they felt embarrassed they weren't patronizing because <laughs> <Wow. laughs> things were cheaper at the yeah. AMP. You had the Italian, uh, the German <clears throat> delicatessen, you had the kosher delicatessens, you had the smoked fish emporiums. There were two or three between Decatur Avenue and Jerome Avenue, six block area, candy stores. With, where you'd sit and have an egg cream and a pretzel mm -hmm. and you know thumb through the comic books and and you know what we haven't mentioned the the uh, uh, cards we call them tickets they were either ball players mm -hmm. or we western stars and do you know we used to play poker with uh, those cards uh, with those wow uh, you know in between punch ball games and stick ball games. Uh, when the weather was clement in, in the in the spring and summer, we'd sit on the curb and and deal cards mm -hmm. and play for c tickets. Did you ever do that? Oh yeah. Well, we, we, baseball cards were very valuable. Oh yeah. Can't, we, but we used to play against the wall. We used to flip them. If you have, if you have, if, they, if a picture comes up and you, the next one is a flip, you win that mm. thing. And also, we used to go against the wall. We used to flip the cards. Whoever, leaned, got it, whoever got it closer to the wall. If you get a leaner, that you'd win everything. But we, this was such a part of our life. So I'm so glad he brought that up because yeah. we were. That's one of the many games we played. That's why we were so occupied, <coughs> every every day, just connecting with friends. And what about Charlie on the Pony? Charlie on the Pony. Johnny, Johnny, on, the pony. Johnny, Johnny on, on the Pony. Him too. I mean, <laughs> yeah, him, both of them. You know, Charlie started up, but Johnny had better PR. <laughs> 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 That's what happened. And everyone talked about it. That the, was just the kid. black people, the mm. Italian people. <laughs> <laughs> like this, on yeah. top of the non Let's yeah. see it. And then he would, and he would, <laughs> and and he would leap on top, top of us <laughs> and crush the backs of everyone. But that was one of our favorite <laughs> games. And Chaz Palminteri brought yeah. it up, and and Melly Mel, and 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 Rob Reiner, and I mean everyone experienced that Johnny on the Pony was that's, incredible. That's hilarious. Even Mo Melissa Manchester. <laughs> oh yeah. She talked about it also. I mean, it, so uh, the, the, all these games, Ring Olivio. But the, the the black kids and the Irish kids and Everybody's the Italian kids all talked about these same games. Mm. You know what? I never had, we had a, a sprinkling of children of color in my PS94 and then PS80. 
the deal with Clinton was a great melting pot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where the kids from out, because there were no boundaries for David Clinton. You could come from Staten Island. Right. It was a special uh, uh, rule about David Clinton. The thing about uh, about all this is the children were very innovative. We were innovative. There was a lot of parkland and playgrounds, but the street was our playground. Yeah. And your car. <laughs> the gen the gen exactly. Went yep. over. Perfect. And then you run right back in. And yeah. then you continue the game. Um, we were street smart about getting run over and not getting run <laughs> oh, over. Oh, we was we. We didn't even smart. use Reservoir Oval, mm -hmm. uh, which was a beautiful Depression area project. Yeah. Talk to him. It was like a big playground. <laughs> Danny, let's bring you in here. You got to hang out with these guys. What uh, was it like putting this whole documentary together? Oh, it was a journey. It was a challenge. I mean, it started off in one direction and just kept going and going and evolving and. Uh, in talking to Robert and other people, you and then meeting the kids in the movie, uh, really brought a whole other dimension to it. And then bringing the kids with George and his friends yeah. together created a whole other aspect of it. So it was a journey. 